Okay, let's take a walk around this uh, 1992 on a J Land Rover Defender 90, genuine 200 TDI. Um, bin styles look like a slightly later car, this one. Um, looks a bit more like a 300 TDI, but it is a 200 TDI. Uh, been refinished in what looks like Oslo blue. May not be the exact Land Rover colour. Originally it was a lighter blue colour, um, but it's been resprayed at some point in the past. And uh, really rather good, actually. Um, Big spec on this one. From the top it's got full county uh, roof on it with alpine lights and sunroof, although I think the sunroof has been sealed up, which is normal. Um, it's got a light bar on the front with four auxiliary lights. It's got full checker plate kit, bonnet, wing tops, modesty covers, rear quarters, and I think the lower part of the rear tailgate has been uh, checker plated. It's got a set of, set of compomotive alloys on it, shod with uh, a matching set of four Bridgestone Jeweler all-terrain um, 265 75R16 tyres on it. Um, it's got side steps. What else does she have? Uh, ram intakes on the uh, wing tops. Custom grill. Steering guard. Um, rear mud flaps. Rear quarter bumpers. Swing away spare wheel carrier and um, a rear step mounted onto the adjustable tow pack and it's also inside it's got the uh, later style te techno cloth seats uh, center cubby box it's got a cd radio in it and um, a console that goes around the gear lever right let's walk around and pick out some good bits and bad bits so it has been repainted it's generally pretty straight um, don't know when it was done prior to the previous owner's uh, ownership there's a few areas where the um, where the paint has uh, sort of come away and what have you and it's lost a bit of its paint here around the uh, near the, around the offside light unit and there's a bit of the original paint showing through there and it's very slightly dented there just sort of slightly crinkled just uh, on the um, on the light panel it's got the custom grill but the um, the grill panel looks like it's off a slate gray one I don't know why that is but uh, that's got the custom grill panel as I say uh, again, a bit of paint loss just around here, and the eyebrow there is, uh, has lost a bit of its plastic. Got some spare ones if you want them. A um, bit of paint loss on the bonnet edge. Looking down the near side, actually looks pretty straight, apart from a couple of um, slight dents just here, very slight dents, and a couple more just up here on the barrel side where it's also lost a bit of paint along there. Uh, another slight dent there just above the vent. Up here on the scuttle panel, doesn't look too bad, it's starting to just go in the corner there, but doesn't look like it's holed yet. This all looks sort of fairly honest and original to be honest. Um, usual paint loss on the, uh, um, on the hinge, but uh, down here it's bubbling up, but it uh, all looks pretty solid as it does around there. Screen has got a crack in it. Uh, it is a new screen actually, but it's fairly new, but it was cracked when it was put in apparently. Um, some electrolytic reaction, electrolytic reaction on the base of the near side door. <clears throat> Looking inside it, um, passenger seat base is a bit grubby and uh, there's a few dog hairs and stuff, but um, it's easy clean interior. It's got the full headlining as I say, although the headline's a bit strawy up there, it's just come from a stables this one. Um, all the footwells and everything are really rather good in this. That's all nice down there. Uh, and they think that from memory the door frames are good as well. I don't know if they've been repaired or if they're the originals, but that is first class that passenger door frame possibly been repaired I think it looks like it might have been repaired in the back corner there but um, it's in good shape um, near side there's a bit of paint loss on the roof just up there um, near side van side and everything apart from a few hedge scratches and what have you there's a bit of bubbling coming up on the uh, tub top trim just there and again there on the joints but otherwise that all looks pretty good around the tail end uh, cross member all looks good from the outside. Usual electric reaction round here. Now in the back here we've got um, a bench seat with seat belts on this side. There are, there's the back, bench seat back on this side and the belts, but not the um, not the base. We can probably get hold of another one if it's uh, if it's a deal breaker, shall we say? Uh, another base and uh, uh, and cushion um, if necessary. And it shows the original colour inside there. Again, tailgate is. Good. Tailgate bottom frame is very good. Bit of surface rust, but no more than that. And the spare wheel carrier has uh, helped this a lot. 
all shuts nicely. Looking down the offside, again pretty straight. Um, a few head scratches on the van side, as I say, and we've got again the usual bubbling just coming up on the uh, on the tub top trim, just where the join is. Driver's door is the same electrolytic reaction in the base of the door, and a few scratches up here, just underneath the window for some reason. Um, and again, the scuttle corner is the same on this side. It's just bubbling up, but it's not uh, not gone through or anything. Still looks um, original and nice. Offside front wing, apart from a couple of deep scratches here on the corner and some paint loss just on the front edge, all looks pretty straight and good. Uh, A-posts all look good. Driver's seat's in good shape. Again, the footwells in this one, I have had them out. And uh, pretty good in this. Yeah, it's all nice down there. Um, and again, the door on the driver's side maybe been repaired, but uh, good, in good shape as we speak. Um, that's about it, really. My name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495, or you can go to our website, which is www.motodrome.co.uk for any further info. We take part exchanges. We take Visa and MasterCard, credit cards and debit cards with a 2% surcharge for credit cards. And we can have it shipped anywhere you like in the world. Certainly the UK and Europe delivery is no problem. Otherwise it goes on a boat. That's about it. End.